Welcome to the episode of Locked In. This episode is going to be the first part of I don't know exactly how many on my all road custom steel do everything road gravel cross build. So let's get started. So a little bit of background. I'm going to be partnering with Barco Cycles. He's a custom steel builder in my local area. I'm working with him to try to develop a steel bike that is lightweight and very versatile. And I'd love to have a ton more bikes, but something that kind of does everything well is kind of what I'm looking for. Now, I do have a S-Works Crux right now, which is a cycle cross frame, and that's kind of my do-all frame. But it's great for cross, and I love it, and the huge tire clearance, but it's almost excessive for my area since there doesn't get a lot of mud and I don't need a ton of mud shearing clearance. I just need clearance for a decent sized tire. Now. With this build, we're using Columbus Spirit Tubing, which is a very, very lightweight, and we're trying to hit the 17 pound category with this build, minus pedals or cages. What we want to create is something that's visually stunning, but yet very versatile, whether it's got 28C road tires or 32 gravel or cross tires on it. This build is very unique to me. The reason why I wanted to go custom is because I'm a very weirdly proportioned guy. I typically ride a 54 to 56, but nothing has ever fit me well. I'm about 5'11 with a 31, maybe 30 and a half inseam. So I do have very short legs. So I need the reach of a 56, but I need the standover of a 54. That being said, I finally bit the bullet and I said, let's do this. And I wanted to go the full custom route. So I hope you guys will follow my Instagram. I definitely repost and mention that build as much as I can whenever I get updates from the builder. I'm hoping that it's gonna be completed in about a month and a half or so, give or take. We're aiming for end of May, early June. And I will be adding videos to this playlist at any update intervals that I get. Also, I'm gonna be going over little featurettes, almost quick reviews in a sense, of all the little parts that I'm picking. I am going high end with the group set for sure. I'm trying to build a budget, lightweight disc wheel set as well. And then all these other little parts, some are from China because budget, and some things are kind of unique to this build. And I wanna spotlight all those so you guys can see all the parts along the way. So thank you for watching this. Please make sure to subscribe so you stay fresh with any updates. Hit that thumbs up button. And thanks for watching another episode of Locked In. Let's get